Let's load it up. And we're back. Good. Da, 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 da. Uh, let's travel to... I think I'm going to go to Singal. Singal, check the tavern there for travelers. We're practically hunting down travelers now. Oh, Jotun Boya. Yeah, he hasn't been here in a long, long time. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, I can't get boring sometimes. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows? Maybe they're going to reappear. And they're going to say, oh, we've been here from the beginning. Yes. Well, anyway. Anson, congratulations. You are now capable of becoming a vassal, my boy. Congratulations, Reno. Now, only three more levels and you're going to be the ideal vassal. We'll see if that's going to happen. No, let's travel towards Singal. And ask for rumors. That's the idea. We received the quest of the uh, to find the snake called Presence in the land. Snake called Presence is a fortress of 1,000 soldiers inside. We're just going to get in there and start filling them full of holes. Oh, yeah. Um, what was his name? Was it with a, with a Z? I can't remember the guy's name either. Uh, he usually appeared in the morning and told us about his D&D stories. D &D stories. He's, a, he's a dungeon master. Uh, f -f 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 fuck, I, it's on the top of my tongue. Yeah, I started with a Z. Um... That's Phineas the Digit. That's Ramon the Slaver. Don't have any soldiers right now. Oh, maybe even less than that. Maybe even less than that. Now, I have here some whiskey cream from my wife. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Streaming League of Legends was a mistake. Was a mistake. But hey, at least I got Zerath out of it. Hmm? Around two months. Yeah. Around two months. So, no traveler here. Let's uh, go to Valenbre. Probably gonna hit all of the taverns of the world. And it's a good idea to hit all of the taverns of the world because we're also looking for Roland. I'm also looking for Roland. Mm, I see. Okay, Zarath, got it. Sansafid is awarded to Lord Othon. Oh, really? Sarleon took Sansafid. Nice. Good for them. Good for them. I feel like my trainer skill has been slowed up. Why? Weird. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's not not the problem is not too big of an audience, Chris. It's, it's too many streamers. The market's oversaturated. So what do we got? Melatine Free Brother, a belligerent drunk. Oh my God! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No. Was I too harsh? Ha. <sighs> That felt good. Let's see, Free Brothers, Riva is here, Iris the Lotus. And that's it. Alright, Des, have a good night's sleep, my man. Have a good night's sleep. Next stop, Javex Holm. Mittenheim Expeditionary Force. Against the entirety of the Ravenstern. Oh, fuck, no. Yeah, 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 we're gonna go help them. We're gonna go help Lord Hengis with the Mendenheim Expeditionary Force because there are a hundred troops, hundred prisoners inside there. And we we don't want to give those a hundred prisoners in the hands of the Ravenstern. Why would we? Why would we indeed? So let's move our boys, at least, over here and let the Ravenstern kill each other. Kill themselves against the Menheim Wall. Oh yes, oh yes, that is true. 
That is true, Des. Uh, you sh really should uh, fix your sleep schedule. You will physically feel better afterwards. Uh, me and my wife are trying this uh, thingamajig of getting in bed at 11, 11 p.m. So one hour before midnight, which is insane. Um, and very difficult to do because, well, I'm a night owl type of guy. My wife is not, and she hates me when I, when I stay up until 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. But yeah, we're both trying to uh, go to sleep at, at, 20, at 23, 100 hours, or 11 p.m. And um, it's been working great. I feel physically better and well-rested the next day. And that's amazing. I swear that's amazing. Oh, I know, Zerath. I know that trick. It's a good thing I have my wife to tell me, close all computers, close all everything, no phone in bed. Yeah. So that's good. The regular infantry are the NVPs in this battle because they're covering for their shock troop boys. Well, not for long, but they're still covering. Yes, it is incredibly difficult, Chris. It is incredibly difficult. Uh, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. I am willing. I know. I know, Des. It's pretty hard for me as well. There are moments when I simply stay awake until 3 a.m. in the morning in bed just because I my body is not used to the schedule oh that's good for you Chris that's very good for you even better apparently uh, me and my wife we read somewhere that uh, your body regenerates um, your organs regenerate at different hours in the night uh, between 10 and 2 in the morning uh, some essential body parts regenerate, so it's a good idea to get some nighty night then. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if it's real. I'm not sure which body parts are getting influenced. Organs are getting influenced by those hours of sleep. Um, but I, as I said, I felt physically better sleeping earlier in. And I did wake up earlier as well, which is amazing. I never do. Uh, so, yeah. So yeah, trying to fix my sleep schedule is a win. I thank you, my beautiful, lovely wife, for the suggestion. Yeah, I know, Zarath. I know. Hello, Lord Hengist. You apparently like me. I... Oh, no, 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 that's the Kingdom of the Raven's turn. Never mind. Do we get access to your prisoners? That's what I'm curious about. Do I get some prisoners? Oh, baby. I get to check what you guys are getting. Nice. Uh, give me rangers. If you guys have wardens, that also that's also great. Archers, that's good. Wardens, that's good. And... Uh, the noblemen become heavy calves, right? Yeah, fuck that. I don't need that. I'm not seeing anything. I'll, I'll take the skirmishers, I guess. Uh, footmen, training militia. I think I can make the training militia into something decent. Squire at arms. What's in that? Ravens for rogue knights. I'll take the. Give me, give me a nobleman, and give me two ravens from Rogue Knights, and we'll, we're good. We're good. I thank you for your services, good says. You're a night owl? No, I, I get it. I get it. Just stubborn. You end up f uh, finish watching um, TV with your dad at 1 a.m., which is a daily thing you like to do. Then you usually like to uh, one hour a video game, which turns into two or three, if you get into it, but but you've been forcing yourself to stop at three. And then it's also me, because you want to see, you want to catch up on what's going on on my stream desk, and you stop by here, and that causes 
your sleep schedule to go even further. So, hey, I love having you here, Des. I love having you here, but maybe it's not such a good idea for your own health. Yeah, watch TV with his dad. Spend some quality time with your parent. That's a good thing, Chris. That's a very good thing. Maybe you're too young for it, Chris, but me probably in the future you'll learn to appreciate something like that. Mm, yeah, but there are also a lot of uh, downsides to not having a dad. But that's a, an entirely different subject. Are your parents divorced, Chris, or what's going on? Oh, and if you don't want to talk about it, we can just end the subject right there. Is that Roland? Oh god, Roland. Roland Garros, my boy. Do I have enough uh, space? No, I don't have enough space. Nobleman, bye. I got another noble to take your place. Hello, Sir Roland. You my boy now. Mm. Wait. I never paid you? I never got you, Roland? Hmm. He works abroad, of course. You came and go within 30 minutes lately, and it's because you forced yourself to try and be in bed by 3. I see. Sir Roland, good day. Uh, oh, wow. I've never sent you to gather right to rule. Okay. Go ahead, Roland. Do that. Yeah, you do that. And we'll see where we go from there. Okay, Chris. Um, okay, let's join. Let's join the tournament. Hello, Conduct. Uh, yes, I play with uh, half damage. Is it half damage? Let me check. Yeah, half damage to me and... Reduced to... Three quarters to friendly. Nah, that's fine. It doesn't make the game too tedious, and I can actually participate in battle without getting myself killed instantly. And I see. I understand, Chris. Each with their own, my man. Each with their own. You know, it doesn't mean that you can't handle yourself, you know, in life without a dad or something like that. But it's sometimes good to have. I mean... I mean at least I know that I can rely on my old man. You know, if push comes to serve. You might not see everything eye to eye, as it happens a lot. But when push comes to shove, I know that he'll have my back. Because I'm his baby boy. And I, and even, even if I'm 30 or 40, I will forever be his baby boy. Hello, Yappy. Welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? Or... Welcome. This is your first time here. But no, simply the reason I'm not playing on max difficulty is because I don't find it fun. I die too fast. I don't find it fun. I like to, you know, get a say in the matter, not get one shot by random arrow to the face at the beginning of every battle. Alright, first time indeed. Welcome, my boy. There. I know, that's how war works, Conduct, but that's not how video games work. I play like 13%? I play at 40. 40, 44%. I feel like it's a good balance. Hello, Patrick. Even more if you're abroad, for sure you'll be his baby boy. Well, I'm not abroad. I'm... I'm... We're, we're the same... Well, actually, he is abroad. He works abroad. But it's fine. It doesn't matter on your difficulty as long as you enjoy the game. That's all what I always say, and that's what I will always say. If you enjoy the game on 1% difficulty, 
Go for it. Oh my good god. I got raped. Jesus. I know, I know, that wombo combo. Pop, pop, pop. Done. No chance for me to retaliate. Mm -mm. Okay, nobody here. No traveler. Where my traveler's boy is at? Where my traveler boy is at? Let's check in Avondor. Vortex? Never heard of the term, I, I guess. Okay, conduct. And is that fun for you? Because I would find it incredibly tedious. And if it's fun for you, then it's okay to continue playing the playing so. Just like it's okay for Des to play it on 13% and it's okay for me to play it on 40. And I usually recommend people to play all mods on my settings on uh, 41, 45 difficulty rating because it's a good balance of difficulty and easiness. It's practically the normal experience. Not gonna defeat the daughters or pers personnel. Not yet. Alright, Des. Have a good night's sleep, my man. Sorry for keep you for keeping you in the conversation for so long. Peace. Well that sucks deck conduct. Marketplace goods. Is there a location, a shop that has twenty K? I don't think so. I doubt there is. Oh, I gotta get that cheese. I mean, come on, it's fucking cheese, man. Can't say no to cheese. Cheese is the good shit. Macavian Manhunter, a giant knight of the Ebony Gondley. Look at that guy. Damn, he's intimidating. Nithon Vale. Have you heard anything unusual about the snake cult recently? Please keep your voice down. For a few coins, I might know something of interest. I'm risking my good health here, so don't be cross. If I ask for a mere hundred gold, it's worth every penny. It's better be worth it, motherfucker. Here you go. Now listen closely, for it's quite an extraordinary tale. A week ago, my cousin happened to travel near Highcliff Castle. The roads there should be safe, or so he thought. He was having a lunch in the small woods by the roadside when suddenly a small party of snakes rode down the road, screeching and hissing as their wont. He quickly hid from view, but was able to discern a few uttering as they rode by, something about Grand Master's sacrifice and hidden stronghold. I can't make heads or tails of it, but someone learned may, may be able to help. Perhaps all the scribes? Anyway, they're up to no good, and I ho hope you can stop them. Okay. So we found something. Report back to the order of your findings about the uh, snake cult activities in your high cliff castle being over here. If the hidden fortress is over here, uh, the fortress, once we conquer it, will be a good lighthouse or safe haven in the storm. I think that's a better um, explanation. A good safe haven in a storm when we're fighting and waging war in these territories. It's always a cousin, of course. Oh, I see. I see, Siggy. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. But yeah, I prefer to get into the thick of things. Just mashing and bashing my way through the enemy. But I promise you guys, I promise you guys that I will be doing a uh, full difficulty playthrough of Pandor or a... Except a World of Ice and Fire. I don't want to do a full difficulty playthrough of World of Ice and Fire because that would be just too fucking tedious. That would be too fucking tedious. No, thank you. Uh, but yeah, sure. A playthrough of Pandora on max difficulty might be interesting. No, no, he, he said crouching. Getting low so he doesn't get headshot. What's a World of Ice and Fire about? Uh, World of Ice and Fire is a Game of Thrones mod. Yappy. Simply a Game of Thrones mod that is based on the Viking Conquest engine, thus making it a little bit more on the difficult side. I feel like it's more difficult than Pandora. 
Pindor becomes easy once you... Pindor and Perizno become easy once you know what you're doing. Eight noble boys, 15k. That's, it's because we're running around with a uh, giant, giant army. I should, I should fight, right? Yeah, above average. Morale needs a little bit of fixing. Daughters of uh, personnel, you want to engage in glorious combat? I'm not hearing a no. Ah, consent. You risk both your lives and your manhood by telling me this, you know. Be warned. Damn, I feel like a woman. I guess, Francis? Of course, it's a joke. We over here at Hitpoint Inn do not condone rape or any forms of rape. Right? Stay safe, kids. Stay, stay in school. But yeah, yeah, I don't risk my manhood because I'm a lady. I'm a lady playthrough. Spread the boys out. Spread the boys like brr, like a uh, butter on bread. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shadow hunters. Wow, you spawn with crossbows. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, from this height, we uh, actually everyone, please step forward by ten paces. There we go. From this height, I think uh, the archers should hold their own against the knights. Hopefully, right. Well, half of them almost aggroed on me. There you go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Get in there, Cav. Get in there, infantry. Fuck them up. Show them what's good. Yeah, yeah. Damn, ladies. Would you kindly stop shooting at my boys? Man, I wish I, w I had them under hypnosis. And I could totally say the keyword, would you kindly. Woohoo, infantry. Woohoo, you're, you're stepping out of bounds, good sir. You're stepping out of bounds. Yeah, step back. Step back a notch. Let the... Let the enemies get uh, pooned by range fire for a bit. Ah, uh, Shadow Hunter got killed. Damn. That was my favorite Shadow Hunter. I named him George. I guess George cheated me at the cards, so it's okay. Hello, Peter. Welcome to the inn, good sir. I'll say like say like that. How you doing, good sir? Things are looking good. I'm gonna move towards the Vakavian Sentinel over there and try to relieve some pressure. Are you guys running away? Like that's not very sportsmanlike. I mean, seriously, ladies, you are cutting men's penises off for a living. You should stick around. Stay a while and listen. Maybe receive a few shots to the head. You're just waiting for Battlelord? Good luck with that, my man. Recommend that you play some mods while waiting for said Battlelord, my good sir. You might enjoy yourself a bit. Oh yeah, um, in case you guys didn't know, that was not a joke. Vakavians, uh, the Vakavian faction is a matriarchal society where men usually get gilded. I think that's the right word. Um, get gilded and practically become slaves to the ladies. Only the most exquisite men get to keep their peckers 
and are utilized as um, sex slaves. Yeah, there's there's no better way of putting it. So I guess uh, the Vakavian faction is every extreme feminist's uh, wet dream. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what it means, Zerath. Getting your pecker cut off. And I did say it's extremist feminist. There. I guess so. Oh, eunuch is just the balls? Well then, they, they do use the term gilded. What does gilded mean? Just the balls or just the tip? I'm not even sorry for that joke. Not even sorry. Uh, crude dark blue surcoat. Grab everything. Now it lays the border between extreme and normal for and non-existent. Oh, shut up, Erignator. There is a border there. There is a border there. <sighs> what do we got here? Heavy Axemen. Do you have any Huskalls, maybe? Axemen. Huskalls, yes. Warden. Beautiful. Any Ravenstone Rangers, maybe? No. Um, it's fine. We'll let them go to waste. There. Empire Armored Cross, Ravenstern Ranger. Ah, sure, man at arms. We'll make him into a cure guard. Keep him on the front line. Call him Daisy. We'll see if he lives. Uh, Fears of an Axeman, I'll keep you down here until you become heavy boys. So, let's go back to Windholm. We got a quest to report in. And I think that should have resolved our morale. Yep, we're back at excellent. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and let's move on. Please don't mind Aragnator. He's just trying to trigger people. And that gives him purpose in life. Uh, hello, Van Scary Raiders. Fancy meeting you here. Another Legionnaire, Ranger, Black Archer. Ooh, oh boy. Oh boy. I like my coffee like I like my archers. Black. Oh, hello, Heretic Army. Surprise, meet surprise meeting you here. Stay safe. Stay safe out there. Ooh, okay. There. No champion. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, yeah, sure. Keep the, ex the extra bag of fruit. Bag of fruit. Bowl of fruit. Freddy's here. Quorum of Bray. Anything from your travels? No. Adonia, Brother Randolph, and one of them guy. Hello. You bring valuable news, Constable. A hidden cult stronghold near Highcliff Castle. As much as it sounds unlikely, that's where the snake cult assassins will be found and destroyed by our hands, if the fates guide us. I received disturbing news from friendly orders about attacks on their high-ranking members, too. The cult must have a devious plan to behead the orders, the most valiant defenders of Pendor, and throw them into confusion. I feel we may soon expect grave news from Amala, foreboding a great invasion. The task at hand for us, however, remains the destruction of the Snake Cult Stronghold. You're bound by duty and honor to cleanse the Stronghold and take it for our order. For this unique task, we have many volunteers, Constable, so make sure you're prepared for an unrelenting siege assault. Good luck. Oh shit. 
Oh shit, boys, yes. Oh yes. Um, well, we gotta put some soldiers out. We gotta get, gotta get rid of some soldiers, let's see. Uh, no, not Heavy Axemen. Bladesman, I think? Oh, fuck yeah, we're, we're getting rid of the Bladesman. Um, what else? Heavy Infantry can go for right now. Great Swords can go. What else do we got? A mercenary sergeant can go, definitely. Um, no, the road right. No, the fuse main axeman can go. Is that enough for all of the Kraken Radari? No, almost. Almost. Yo, war boy. Um, I do have it in my Steam list. I just didn't. wasn't in a mood to learn the game yet. I do plan on learning it soon. War boy. No, not 80 people. I'm not going to take the Storm Sisters. I'm just going to make room for the Kraken Radari. Just because I like them. Uh, sure. Thank you, Warboy. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some regular infantry for me, these guys. That should give me all the Kraken Radari. Great. It's a pretty steep learning curve and getting used to the controls. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard too. That's why I'm gonna be preparing for it soon. I'll keep the Kraken Radari as a secondary, as a reinforcement wave. That usually sounds like a good idea. Because if I if I take them now and use them as the first as a first wave, they're not gonna have the best of times. They're, they're most likely just gonna die from arrow fire. We don't want to do that. I came back here to check if there's a ransom broker around, but there doesn't seem to be one. We're going to travel northwards while dodging that army of heretic worshippers. And I think I'm going to visit Valenbrae, and hopefully we're going to find a ransom broker there. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Kenshi's a game that I'm looking forward to sinking my teeth and time into. It just was a... Where the fuck did you come from? Is there a Vanskiri landing around here? They, did you see that? They just appeared out of thin air. That's, that's fucking weird, man. That's fucking weird. The duration of war between Sogleon and Fjordsvein. Okay, it seems Fjordsvein are getting the shaft. Which is... Okay, I guess. The problem is, it's strengthening the Ravenstern and the Sogleon. That's usually the idea that you need to keep in mind when you see a uh, faction on the brink of destru destruction. Um, oh, it's okay that we're not going to have to deal with Fears of Ain, but we're going to have to deal with an empowered Ravenstern and Sarleon army. So, you know, ups and downs, boys, ups and downs. Borje, all of my prisoners, good sir. And now, let's go near Highcliff, and I think it's over here somewhere. I think right here, we'll check. But yeah, we are going to be attacking uh, the Snake Cult Castle. And we're just going to shoot them down. Especially if they have, an Anaconda, uh, not an Anaconda Knights, um, Snake Warriors or Snake Cult Warriors or something like that. Cobra Warriors, there you go. Uh, those guys usually don't tend to spawn with shields, so they're not going to have the best of times. Not going to have the best of times, mind you. Uh, I've played Rome, and I've played the first medieval one. Haven't played any of the most recent ones in Balumba. Cobra Warriors, yes. It's south from there, but why? That means it's just around here. No. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, last time when I played, it was, I think, over here. North of Anson Lodge or something like that. It wasn't this, this far south. Hello, Snake Cult Stronghold. 1,000. 1,000 boys inside. Uh, 50 Priestess, 50 Anaconda Knights, 100 Snake Cult Warriors. The Armsmen. I'm worried about the Armsmen. They're the only ones who can fuck us up because they have crossbows. And Knights of the Radiant Cross. Okay. Mm. 
All right. Sounds like the perfect day, Warboy. Sounds like the perfect day. Let's go to engaging glorious combat, I guess. Oh no, we just launched the attack automatically. I'll wait until dawn then. Just to not uh, impede my archer's accuracy. Which, I, which I'm still surprised that that's a thing. There. Let's go. Oh, don't you worry, Siggy. I'm way ahead of you. Yes, I have fine troops at my command. Let's lead the assault. Oh shit, it's this type of battle. Everyone follow me. This is gonna be a big oof. Right, archers over here, infantry, their cavalry here. Oh, this is a this is a this is one of the shittiest oh oh, 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 oh fire order soldier fire infantry. You're not close enough to do that. This is one of the shittier um, sieges. Archer is a little bit forward. Let's see if you can uh, shoot them down. How you looking? You're standing closer. Hello, guys. How you doing? Oh my god, you're throwing shit at me. That is not very nice. I know. I know, war boy. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying to waste their ammo. And also, this way I'm verifying if they ever run out of throwing weapons. Mm hmm. Okay, the dude on the right is not throwing anymore. Let's see if that priestess runs out of... Oh, she did! She did run out of... Uh, throwing weapons. Okay, so throwing weapons do not get reloaded. They'll go out of the walls eventually. Oh, yes, they will. They will, yes. So um, I just need to sit in tight and wait for them to engage us. And when that happens... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Will that be glorious? No, she received a new fuck, a new f stack, a new stack of arrows. Hi guys, how you doing? Uh oh, that don't work. Hopefully they're gonna go out. <laughs> Hello? Hello there. Okay, let me step back a notch. No, 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 don't shoot me. I'm fragile. Okay, I'm not fragile. I ain't got to step back. When they're going to kick my ass. Hello, raise my phantoms. Welcome back. Oh, oh shit. Nope. Man, I received a lot of javelins in the shield. The shield has served me. Quite good. You sit over there at the mouth. Because they're going to be charging in soon and when that happens i'm gonna tell my legionnaire boys to throw down to show them what's good i guess this is this is their most compact position how are you looking oh um cavalry a little bit forward archers i think you'll need to take a step back so you can aim properly like so yeah like so that should that should be good and someday they're gonna come out and play Hey, look, I'm a hedgehog. Thank you, raised by phantoms. How you doing, my man? Ah, fuck nuggets on a stick. Gotcha, bitch. But my archer's on the side? Now, on what side? On the grass? Actually, on this side would be better because that's covering the... Uh, that area is covered by the house. I think that's going to be better. Like so. Just got to wait for the enemy team to come in. Oh my god, it's kind of annoying to have that many... That many 
Let me um, spears in my shield. Are they finally coming down? Mm -hmm. They're not. At least Diev is having fun. No, Shadow Legion. My Wilfred. Yes, I named him Wilfred. And he was my favorite Shadow Legionnaire. Right after George. Hmm. Can you guys step out now? I'm bored. It takes a while, huh? It takes a while for the enemy to come to step out. They're gonna keep on shooting me because they're dicks. Well, at least let's try to take pot shots at those guys. There's a wooden post right in front of them. Also, we're fighting against the sun, so it makes aiming a little bit difficult. This was a viable tactic back in the days. Whoa, 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 Serpent Priestess got killed? Are they f coming forward? No, they're not. Okay, let's see if I can do something sneaky. Get out of my way, boys. I gotta do something sneaky. I've tried this once. Let's see if it's if it if it works here as well. Bye boys. See you on the other side. Yeah, moving my archers over there. It's stupid. But it might just work. Uh who threw that? Whoa, infantry, what are you doing? No 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 no. Just archers. Just, just archers. Sorry, I must have selected the wrong squad. Just archers are going in there. Yeah, you boys sit tight. You boys sit tight. They should be going around. Yep. You know what would, what would be the shitty part? Now, uh, for the infantry to step out of their garrison. That would be the shitty part. Gotcha, fucker. Nice, got him. Uh -huh. Oh fuck. Hello boys. Oh no. Oh no no no. There's a there's a lady throwing. There's a lady throwing down. Are they moving? Are they finally moving? Hey, they got a better shot from there too. Oh, wait until the infantry gets out, man. Wait until the infantry gets out of here. That's when the real killing is going to take place. Also, it would be great if I had any infantry left to hold the lines when that happens. Ho 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 ho! That's going to be wasting a lot of ammo. Ow. Mitch. It's like a it's like an arrow machine gun. It's amazing. Hi. Gotcha. What's she doing? What is she doing? Ah, uh, yes I would, Conduct. Yes I would. Ah, uh, boop. Nice. Oh, oh boy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's, that's cheating. That's not actually cheating, but kinda. Oof. Uh, archers, you go under the bridge? That's a little bit extreme. Stop throwing that shit. I mean it. I mean it. So, Siggy, when do you think they're going to be coming towards us? 
Any second now would be great. Any second now would be great. Yeah, it was. Oh, God. Hello. No, no, no. I'm not, not getting in there. Hi. Hello, big titted lady. How you doing? Missed. I am the hedgehog. Oh. Ouch. I have no idea. I have no idea. But sending in the legionnaires might be suicide. If they come out here, it'd be amazing. But if they keep staying there... Fuck nuggets. Well, we're gonna find out now, boys. Because I'm gonna let the infantry charge in and try to... Kill somebody. Oh no, Bintotak. That, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. We'll come back to the end. Yeah, get in there and kill a few. And then we're gonna retreat and re-engage. I know. I know, Arignator. That, that's not gonna happen, because they're murdering us like it's nobody's business. And I lose morale and everything like a normal siege. Uh, Bento Tech, that's what we've been discussing, man. At one point, they come out and attack. Wait, they're gonna reinforce the garrison before the next one? What? Whoa! Holy shit! It's like a complete loss after the first attack. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, shit. Hello, Zinkis. It seems so. Well, at least I have you, Sir Rain. My fucking god. Well, at least we didn't lose any of the... No. No, I can't. We're not safe scumming. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Well, that's going to be left on the back burner for a while. What's the closest city? Javik, Swamp, Sarlene, and Avendor. Let's try and find our companions back. Damn. Damn, now we know how that battle is going to pan out. I don't know about that feature either. That if you retreat, you're fucked in the ass. I did not know. No, that's the only one. That's the only one, Zara. This is a special siege. This is a special battle. I did not read anything on the wikis, my man. Also, they took a good chunk of my money as well. I guess they can. Adventurer Julia. Hi, let's go. Kasim is here. Uh, Borgi de Fat, can I rent some of, of my companions? Okay, they're all out there somewhere. That hurt. That hurts a lot. Let's go to Avendor. I mean, we have enough soldiers. Actually, I should go on a rec on a Ravenster recruiting spree since we're in the area. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna be hoping that they're in the closest cities. 
be done with it. I almost got caught by everything there, Jesus. Clear Swift Edge. And nobody else, really. Nobody else here. Maybe? No, they're not here. Okay, let's step out. Well, we're just gonna return here at the end game, and then fuck it. When I'm gonna have the big bad boys ready to throw down, that's when we're gonna return. That's it. That's all there is to it. Yeah, it's not fucking around. I didn't know about it. Probably, Siggy. Mm, I don't think I don't think they can join my battle. I don't think they can join my battle, Tin Kiss. I'm not 100% sure. No idea. Imala, Ediz, Richard. Okay. Uh, Imala, you. Looking for companions. Looking for Anson, Laria. Okay. Looking for. Diev says how did they get there I don't know they got launched into space where's Leslie Elisa Torba <laughs> the fuck and Leslie's not even here why is not Leslie in that list Hello, Kiwi. Welcome back to the end, dude. Nope. How does the campaign AI affect the game? They reinforce their garrisons and... Um, enemy AI reinforces their garrisons and their lords in an unrealistic fashion. Conduct. Probably, my man. Probably. Let's go to Laria for Diev. I think I can outrun anything with three troops. Yeah, I said it's a poor too. It's the only thing that I keep on poor. You found a discussion on Reddit. It said that your lords can join you on your assault on Stronghold. Oh, okay, awesome. Then I can bring Lethal Durin and just throw his troops away against the enemy. Someday. Someday. Not yet, though. I'll wait for a while. Oh no, Diev is in says. Hello, Corum. I think I have enough money to feed the three soldiers. Let's go to says. We're going on a wild wild trip across world to find my boys back <laughs>